Like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell. The Military Religious Freedom Foundation. Hi, everybody. It's Mikey again. Well, it's the end of the year, and of course, I'm asking for support for the foundation. I get a question that is repeated throughout the year by people that donate to us and even those that don't, which is, what can I do to fight this, to fight um, Christian nationalism in our U.S. military? I want to make it very clear that by donating to us, to the Military Religious Freedom Foundation, you are doing something. You are actuating us. You are keeping us able to fight the good fight. Without your donations, we simply can't do it. Uh, with over 81,000 clients now that we've serviced, um, the operations are costly. But what's more costly is not having us out there fighting in this very, very difficult civil rights fight. John F. Kennedy once said, there are risks and costs to inaction, but they are far less than the long range risks of comfortable inaction. I would argue that we're no longer, there's no longer a long range metric here. We are here right now. We have a presidential candidate and former president who just had dinner the other night with a raging anti-Semite and white supremacist. I'm not gonna sit here and make the case because I think you already know that. I just wanted you to know that by supporting us, you are involved with us, you are partners with us, you are fighting with us, and I can't say enough how critically important this is. President John F. Kennedy talked about long-range risks of comfortable inaction. As I said before now, this is the here and now. We need your help here and now. Please help us keep fighting the good civil rights fight. Thank you for the consideration. Like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell. The Military Religious Freedom Foundation.